Hit that jab, jack. Put it in pocket till I get back. Going downtown, see your man. Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Steve Hill. Thank you for watching this video today. Today I'll be showcasing about feeder woods. So let's go. Alright, hey guys. We're back in the showroom of the feeder woods. And right behind me, right, this is the facade of the feeder woods. Right, so let's start with my right hand side as you can see from here. This is the location of the KL Metropolis. And in total, we have met one to nine. Inside, we already have an Arte, Metre, Mitec, Miti, and the KL High Court that have been built. These are all the infrastructure of the KL Metropolis. And later, I'll introduce one by one with you. So on your right hand side, you can see all the connectivity around KL Metropolis. We have the Jalan Kuching, Duke Highway, Jalan Duta, and all this can bring you to anywhere in Klang Valley. Right now, I'm going to show you the whole build model of the KL Metropolis. Okay, so I'm just going to introduce a little bit. And right now, we have a project ongoing. It's the Met one. They are selling 1,000 to 1,001 per square feet. It's a service apartment. And for the Met two, we have the six star service apartment and hotel as well. And proposed to be Jet Devon Married, okay? And Met 3, okay, guys, this you need to hear clearly. For Met 3, it's gotta be half a shopping mall that is bigger than Mid Valley. Besides that, it has a NASA signature tower. What do I mean by signature tower? Okay, it will be on par with like KLCC, like the TRX, like the 118. And the next one in Malaysia is gonna be our NASA signature tower. Mat 5. Mat 5 it will be developed by Hubsing. And for this, right, we have a MRT line tree that will be going underground as well. MRT line tree is confirmed. Alright? And this will be like a office block, it will have a service residence, and you will have some retail shop below as well. So after Mat 5, we talk about Mat 6, it's our feeder woods, which I'll explain further later. For Mat 7, it will be a wellness suite. So which means it will be like a small studio, the kind of design to fit all the people that will be in Mat 8. Mat 8, it is uh, proposed to be an MSC Strata Office Tower. So what do I mean by that? Government might be waiving off 10 years tax for all the technology or the MNC companies in the Mat 8. So this will be another booster to boost up the price around this area. Which already has been because of the Moncara and everything. So on this little one, we have the Mat 9. Mat 9, it will be a 6 star hotel. This is to fit all the people that we're going to swarm into the Mitech. For your information, Mitech is the largest exhibition hall in the whole Southeast Asia. So just imagine after the pandemic, where they will go? Definitely, they will come to Malaysia with the Mitech. Okay, so speaking of all this development, okay, it is considered a mixed development. As mentioned above, we have the residential, we have the office, we have the shopping mall, and we have the infrastructure, and most importantly, we are supported by the government. So, in Malaysia history, is this the first time we do so? No, it's not. It's not the first time. So, for the past history, right, for your information, we have done in the KL Central, like the Mig Valley, like the Bangsa South as well. So as you can see, for all this area, they are also very, very successful. And for the past 10 to 15 years, uh, their capital has at least gained like 200% to 300% just within this 10 years time. So the next and one of the last piece of mixed development in Malaysia, it will be KL Metropolis. And it will be here. What do I mean by one of the last? First thing first is because it is a 75.5 acre mixed development and to find this kind of land in Malaysia, in Klang Valley especially, it's getting harder and harder. Plus, it is only 7 kilometers away from KL Centre. So which means, you are so near to the KL Centre, it's in Klang Valley, it is very hard to find some more. Now we talk a little bit about feeder woods. So what makes feeder woods so special? Is it because it is the only pure residential development in KL Metropolis? Is it because of the design? Or it is because of the 
developer. Because speaking of a uh, good land is very important, which we have mentioned above. Alright, Kale Metropolis, next to Mon Kiara, Bukit Dunku, Damansara High, Bangsa, KLCC, all these high end area, they are surrounding this KL Metropolis. And around, they have already been so successful. And why not KL Metropolis? Okay, so we talk about location, it's very good, very prime. Okay, it's a good thing. But how about the developer? Even you have the best location in the world, okay, like uh, you own the land in uh, New York City, but it's an abandoned project, no use, right? So today, I'm going to be sharing with you about Exim. So, as you can see from behind me, we have our achievement, we have our milestone, okay, but I'm not going to go in depth today. Just for your little bits of information, very simple, huh? We have two types of project mainly. One is called D-Series, one is called Z-Series. For D-Series, right, it's at the mid-range, and the Z-Series is the upper range, which like Fidewoods as well. So for upper range project, right, we normally have a sky facility. As you can see from here, this is our skill model for our sky facility. Okay, so we have one of the first in whole Malaysia, 360 degree Santorini sky deck pool. Alright, besides that, when you come down a little bit, one floor down, we have a sky ice bar and dine, and we have the rain shower, we have the sauna room, and all of these facilities plus together, we have more than 30 types of facility in Feeder Woods for you to be discovered. Alright, so in the next video, I'll be talking about the sizes and we'll talk about the type. We have a few types over here, so stay tuned and thank you for watching. Have a nice day. My name is Steve Liu and I'll see you next time.